Welcome back everyone, Triple M here. And for this video, I am gonna quickly show you how to easily connect your PC to your Amazon Fire TV device. Now this can include your Fire Stick, Fire TV Cube, or your Fire TV Stick Lite. Where this comes in handy, guys, it makes it extremely easy to transfer your content, whether it's your movies, your photos, your home videos, whatever you can think of. Transfer it from your PC to your Fire Stick. And this one, uh, all the apps are right there in the App Store. You can go ahead and grab them. And the setup itself takes about two minutes so this video we're going to run through it real quickly if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button smash the notification bell let's go all right guys so like i said for this i am going to demo a movie and a application that i will be transferring and just showing you guys that it works of course if you're planning to use third-party applications you will need to go into your settings and turn on apps from unknown sources and that's easy to do so the first app is called wireless file manager go to our find and search and we can use the voice function on our remote wireless file manager All right, so that's one of the applications we're gonna need. So we're gonna go ahead and install it. All right, so while that's downloaded, we're gonna go back. And the second app we're gonna need is called File Explorer. And that's gonna be the icon right there. So go ahead and install that one as well. Some information there. So once both of those are installed, if you're planning to install any third-party applications, we will need to go to your settings. And make sure that unknown sources or unknown apps are uh, turned on. So we're gonna go to My Fire TV. I'm gonna go to Developer Options, Install from Unknown Sources, Unknown Apps. All right. For File Explorer, we're gonna go ahead and turn that on. And uh, like I said, if you transfer an APKs from a PC to your Fire Stick, uh, you need to have that on. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on Wireless File Manager as well. So both apps are installed. I'm gonna go ahead and launch the Wireless File Manager. All right, so it's gonna give you some information how this works, so definitely worth the read. But I'm gonna go ahead and go to the bottom, click on got it. Um, grant storage permission, that's gonna be needed, so turn that on, allow. And now we have two options, guys. We have the option to start wireless file manager. And what that does is turn your file stick into an FTP server. So uh, thus allowing that contact between uh, your PC and your Fire Stick. And uh, one thing I should point out is that both of these devices need to be on the same network. So keep that in mind. So first thing we're gonna do is start the wireless file manager and that will start the FTP client. All right, so you can see it is running. Up top, we have some important information that we're gonna need to make this work. Up top, it tells you, you can browse, download, upload files to the device wirelessly. Enter HTTP colon four slash 192.168.1.153 colon 8080 in your web browser. Um, and it does point out that it needs to be on your local network. So we're gonna switch over to the PC. I'm gonna do that. Uh, this will work in any browser. Uh, like I said, just keep in mind that both devices needs to be on the same network. So let me switch over to the PC. So for you, your IP address is gonna be different. This is uh, the IP address for my Fire TV stick, so keep that in mind, you will have a different IP. HTTP colon four slash four slash 192.168.1.153 colon 8080. And you can see it right there. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in. And we have some folders. So back over to the Fire TV stick. Now it tells me that I am connected to 192.168 at 175. So this is my PC essentially. So now that I'm connected, I can go over to my file explorer. I can open file explorer. And this is where that second application comes in handy guys. Uh, remember that you do need both apps. So both of them do work together. Go ahead and open it. And same thing, we're gonna grant permission, allow. And it's gonna bring up those folders on your Fire TV stick. Now back over to the PC. And uh, you'll notice that these folders are the same that we're seeing on the Fire TV stick, guys. So exactly a mirror of what's on your Fire TV stick back to your PC. And what this allows you to do is essentially just pick the folder that you want, drag whatever content you want in there, and then you're good to go. So let's go ahead and we'll give this a try. So let me go to movies. All right, you can see that folder is currently empty. Uh, what I'm gonna do up here is just choose file. 
and I do have something right here this is a project that I was working on and you guys will see it on the fire stick once I'm done so we're gonna go ahead and open you can see it right here it does have the untitled project it is an mp4 so I'm, so I am gonna hit the send button but let me switch to the fire stick and show you what happens when I hit send all right you can see at the bottom it says uh, receiving and it gives the file name so project whatever on my PC um, and it's receiving it now on the fire stick and I'll show you how to get to that here in a little bit so I do want to also send an APK so let's go ahead and do that so I'm gonna go ahead and choose file I'm gonna go ahead and send 3d mark and what that is it's a benchmarking program that you can use to kind of figure out what uh, how your fire TV stick is performing so we'll go ahead and send uh, so I am gonna send it but before I do let me switch over to the fire stick and kind of show you what's happening behind the scenes All right so I'm hitting send so let me go ahead and hit send right now. So it is currently sending it and once it, it's done receiving it, it should give you a pop up at the bottom again. Just letting you know that the file sent um, with no issues. So we'll just give it a second. All right, so there it is. File received 3D mark. And so what we're gonna do now guys, just back up. I'm gonna exit again and both files are right here and you can see they're ready to go. So first thing we wanna do is just make sure we can install that 3D mark application. So we're gonna open it. Right, so it brings you right into the installer. Click install. All right, you can see that installed properly. You can open it. Now you should be able to go in and do your benchmark stuff as far as just um, seeing um, how your Fire Stick is performing. So installing applications work properly, like I said. And let me go back in and we'll uh, see if that video is actually working. And also, once the file is transferred, it is going to be on your system, guys. So you can essentially go to any file manager that you have or player that you have, and you should be able to pull it up. So that's the MP4. When you click on anything that's been transferred, you get a couple options for this one. I can open it or I can delete it. Let me go ahead and open. All right, you can choose a player. So right now, it looks like I have Plex. I have Explore Video Player. Let me go ahead and try Explore. And there we go. Uh, that's me just messing around. Um, <laughs> but um, videos playing uh, with no issues. Like I said, you know where to find them. You can delete them. You can do whatever you want with them. And I just feel like this is a good addition, a quick way to easily transfer files or remove files from your Fire TV stick to your PC. So of course, this isn't gonna be the, the only way to do it, guys, but this is one way to do it that I found that's really easy. Um, you're dealing with two applications and a big shout out to the developers that actually came out with this. Uh, just making it easier to, to, to get files over to your Fire TV device. Um, if you guys have any questions about this process, any issues, uh, drop it in the comments. If this helped you, of course, smash a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Uh, enjoy the video, thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.